Hey guys, as an investor in businesses, the question I get asked a lot is, should I be investing in the stock market? A great question and one I'm gonna answer, but first, please subscribe and hit the like button if you're enjoying my channel. So, should you be investing in the stock market? Well, I think there's been no other better time in history to invest in the stock market than today. You've seen in the last year alone, tech companies 3xing, 5xing, 7xing in valuations. Apple, Google, Tesla, Shopify, PayPal, Square. They've all grown massively over the last year. And of course, a lot of people have made a lot of money because putting your money in the bank today gives you zero interest or possibly negative interest. However, investing in the stock market is risky. Only put in money that you're prepared or can afford to lose that's not going to make a significant financial impact in your life. So how do you decide which stocks to invest in? Well, the last thing you want to do is listen on a friend's hot stock tip, because trust me, I've done that twice before and both times I've lost money. The way I make money is do my own research and analysis on the stocks. Find out an industry that you're passionate about and the stocks and do more research on them, financial information. Find out where the highs and lows have been for that particular stock over the year or years previously. Find out about its competitors, what its valuation is in relation to that, its growth potential of the company, whether it can disrupt the industry and its financial health position. So whether it has enough cash in the bank or whether they're planning a raise, because if they are, that can affect the stock price. So once you've figured out the stocks that you want to invest in, say you have $1,000, when is the best time to invest in that stock? The best time is during a dip or a correction in the market. Usually when there's a rally, there's always going to be a pullback and that's just healthy for the market and that needs a breather. So do you put all that $1,000 in when it drops? No. A lot of people put in money when it drops the first time and then it drops again and drops further and that time they panic and then they sell their shares and they lose money. So what do you do if you have $1,000? Well, when the first drop happens, three or 5%, you put in your $250. Drops again, put in another 250, another 250, and then finally when the stock rebounds and is on an upward trend, put in your last 250 in there. That way you've averaged down to a great price to buy the stock in on its pullback. Of course, you can't time the market perfectly. Nobody can, so you can't buy at the rock bottom. You wanna buy just above it, and once you've got your position, then just hold it. Six months, 12 months, a year, two years, three years, hold it, because you believe in that stock and you want the upside over a period of time. Of course, during that time, the stock can go down, can go up, but that's why it's important to be disciplined and stick to what your beliefs were on that stock. Of course, if you've gained about 20% in a year, sometimes you could potentially lose in a week that whole gain. And what you can do to mitigate this sometimes is to set something up that's called a stop loss. And what that means is basically putting an order in the system that will automatically sell your shares should the stock price drop by 3% or 5% or 10%, you can set that level. So you can automatically sell the shares and sometimes you can't follow the market all the time. So if that drop happens, you can then just exit, take in and lock in your profit and then buy in again at a lower level if you want to. So guys, I hope that was useful. I'd love to hear about you from your trade experiences, whether you made money, lost money, how you've made it and uh, whether you've never traded before. So please comment below. I'll be commenting too. Thanks.